Hey all, oh Splinter Snake over here with another figure review. This time we have the Iron Man 3 uh, Marvel Legends Iron Patriot. Uh, and I gotta say, straight off the bat, I love this figure. Uh, I was a bit nervous about getting it. Um, and I, oh, such a cool, cool figure. Um, I cannot wait to get the Mark 42. Uh, I have my comparison, so I just realised I wanted to get one comparison which I forgot, and I'm going to chuck him in there straight off the bat. His comic counterpart. As you can see, doesn't want to stand. This guy's got a bit height on him, straight off the bat. Um, and they're actually two different, completely different people. I can't speak today, sorry guys. Uh, we've got James Rhodes in this suit, and Norman Osborn in this suit. But, you know, it's kind of cool they, they incorporate the armour. And I love the design of it, to be honest. And the only thing I don't like about the actual armour design is this little thing here. Not a fan of that. I prefer the old uh, minigun that the original War Machine had. Um, and I have got them, but they're generally in bits and pieces. In fact, give me one second. And then again, just like movie magic, here's a few other size comparisons, but in the movie line. You've obviously got the... Uh, Mark 6, yeah, Mark 6 armour with a busted up leg, just came up again. The Mark 5, and then the Iron Man 2 War Machine. And I've got to say, I love this guy. I think his, this suit is so much better than that one, personally. I just love the look of that, the bulk. This one just looked too slim for my liking. And I'm War Machine in my eyes has always been like a bulky kind of... So anyway, yeah, so... That's so you see, he's, he's got a bit more height than the the rest of them, but it's not terrible, so, you know, it's passable. So, there you go. That's the uh, comparisons. I was going to bring in the usual suspects, but, you know, I think, I don't think I'll bother. Oh, this one, you guys see. Now, while I've got him on screen, my plan is actually, I'm going to get a couple of these. Uh, I'm going to get one to be the Iron Patriot, uh, and I'm going to get one to paint in... Um, War Machine colours, because I like it, and what I'm going to do with this one, as well I've got it, is I'm going to take his off hips and put them in here, so I can have quite an articulate War Machine. Uh, and also I've got him, the back, um, he's got his honking like backpack, which was, again, really cool. He's got his, he's very slim, and he's got this, which I'm going to go over in a sec, I do not like this, this is my least favourite part of the figure. Um, I love what they did here, the little slider rock thing. So you could put the gun on either shoulder and just slide it across. I don't. The gun's in storage somewhere, so I can't show you that. Sorry. Um, but with this, it's in peg hole, so you can put it in that one. But if you're doing that one, you can't really have it. You can't really like over his head. But if you'd have to have it at an angle when it just doesn't look right. So it only really goes in that one, and even when it's collapsed and down, it kind of goes in that one. <laughs> So, yeah, it's kind of pointless. Uh, this thing, I've seen other reviews of this. It's like it could do with some other hinges, and I agree. It could do with like a little hinge here and a hinge here. Same look like swivels, like such in the gun. Um, but it's literally like a peg. And like you've got, um, I mean, it's got some nice detail on it. Uh, mine's actually, unfortunately, focus. There we go. Mine's actually warped, so I need to warm it in. It's got some nice detail, but it's a solid black. Um, and it's got a hinge there, so that, and it rotates there. Mine's really loose as well, which I don't like. Um, but that's pretty much it, you know. And then you peg into his back. But there should be a hinge there, and there should be a hinge there, but there isn't. But you know, it's cool that they added it. Um, and it does look pretty cool, like popping over his shoulder, like that. And again, out of focus. Sorry, guys. And sorry if you can hear the big old fan beside me, but I'm boiling. It's so hot for some reason here today, and these lights are not helping. Um, obviously, I'll have to redo this again if I can't hear myself speak. So, yay. Okay, so, anyway, let's put you in the back there. A war machine. Try and stand. Try and stand. Ah, oh, look at that. So, Iron Patriot. The paint on this guy is beautiful. It's got this lovely, like, metallic -y, kind of like emeralds. Like I said about the other Iron Patriot, it's like, a, like an emeraldy kind of gemmy kind of look. Um, it's not quite metallic, but, and same as the red, the red's a nice crimson red, but it's got the same kind of, like, jemmy kind of look to it. Um, and he's got some nice little details here, which I'm going to try and focus on. Focus, and zoom, and zoom, yeah, there you go, that worked, I haven't tried that yet. 
So you've got here the uh, F F four four five, and then you've got Lieutenant James Colonel Rhodes there, and then on his arm you've got a star. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I think you're saying on his leg wasn't there? No, no. That's all the like little details. You know, again, some of those things I really, really didn't need to add that, but the fact that they did, I think, is just so cool. While I'm here, I'll zoom on the head. Great head sculpt. And my side here looks a bit kind of mashed up, but it's not. It's a, I don't know, it's a bit uneven, smooth. I mean, this one looks better. This side looks better. But that one looks a bit mashed up. But it's a great sculpt. Nice paint job. The lines are actually pretty good. Um, there's not like I can't really see any bleeding. It's a bit chipped here on the red. But all in all, it's a good paint job. Um, throughout actually it's quite a good paint job um, yeah the details in the armour is really cool the back's got this great like armoured look to it uh, iron booty <laughs> uh, yeah you see that, that I got the figure like that I think the guy who I got it from eBay did that first that wasn't me for this time guys <laughs> um, so let's go over his articulation so I zoom out okay so the head is on a I think it's on a ball joint. Ball? I'll try and pop it. Oh, there you go. I haven't tried that before, so I was a bit nervous. It's quite a skinny neck, to be honest. But anyway. So it's on a ball. You get a full 360 around. You can go all the way back. Not, actually, not that far, to be honest. Uh, but forward quite nicely, but surprisingly not that far back if you want to go forward. But, you know, if you're tilting back, you can get into the flight pose and all that. So that's pretty cool. Um... Shoulder, you've got uh, shoulder pads are on hinges, so they go, um, but they don't really hinder the articulation, so you can go quite high. Shoulders themselves are on balls, so they can go around 360. That's that's where it hinders, so there and there. Anymore, and I think it's either going to snap it or pop it off. Uh, bicep swivel, 360 degrees. It's all ratchety as well, like it's ratchet, 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 and even forward and back, ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. Uh, elbow again, ratchet, nice and tight. Well, there's some paint scuff, there you go, some bleeding. Uh, wrist is on a, a rotation and then pivot. Now you can only pivot down. Okay, if I put it like that, you can only go down. You can't go up because the armor stops it. That's as high up as you get. So, you know, same with the other hand. He's got fist in the right, repulsor in the left. I don't know if that's different to the uh, Mark 42 because I don't have one. I really want 42. <laughs> anyway, he's got um diaphragm joint, but it's a really nice diaphragm joint. You can go look at that all the way back, and you've got this nice little bit of blurry. There you go, armour detail underneath his little piece. Uh, forward, not as much, but as I said, back goes really far back, so that's great for some flight poses. Um, and you've got T-cut hips, so you can and they're not the weird ones that they did the Avengers figures, they're just simple. To be honest, they look like the, uh, I don't know if you want to see that, but if they remind me of the uh, Marvel, oh, not Marvel, the WWE Elite kind of jobs. But they've made them balls rather than straight socket smooth joints that the elites have. Um, but yeah, got Spartan kick of that. And a good nice split kick to that. And that's my phone. Two seconds. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, yeah. So that's his uh, split kick to there. Uh, he's got bicep, right, uh, bicep, thigh rotation, ball 360 degrees. And that's hindered by like his armour. Um, you can't really go any further that way. Unless you come out, so just so you know. So yeah, uh, double jointed knees, ratchety again, very tight, very stiff. So nice cut there. You can get quite a decent range in that. Now what I'm probably gonna do is gonna probably trim this off and glue it straight onto that because that's what I did with the uh, these ones. See, so yeah, I glue them straight onto there. I'm not a big fan of that, the whole pointy kneecap uh, guard. All right, okay, nothing in the boot, and then you've got ankle rotation, but it's pointless, absolutely pointless. Um, it looks like a hinge, so maybe go forward and back, but the, as you can see, the armour goes all the way around there, like a trousers, like sleeve, leg, cup. <laughs> uh, it cuts up here, but so you can probably rotate it, but you're going to bend the plastic, and it's quite sturdy as well. If I do that, look, if I hold him, like straight, so like. Is, that's tight and that's bending it and I don't really want to do it um, so you can't really get any pointing down or up you know it's pointless I don't know why they chose to do that that's the second thing I don't like about his figure but sure about that I love his figure it's such a great guy it's 
two little things, this and this. What I'm probably going to do is I might, I haven't decided, cut off all of this and stick it straight onto the actual uh, boot. Then just trim off a slight bit just so it's got a bit of movement. Although, I don't know, we'll see. If I'm going to use these hips, then I might try it with this one and then maybe do it on the others. We'll see. So, I am Pedro, baby. Uh, again, this guy is such a beautiful figure. It's such a really cool figure. The articulation in him is just awesome. Um, I probably can't recommend this guy enough. Uh, I really, really do like him. Um, apart from, like I said, his boots, cuff things, and his rubbish gun flappy thing. Uh, yeah, go pick yourselves up. This is really cool. I'm sure they're everywhere. We've obviously Iron Man 3 still in the cinemas. Uh, like I said, I got mine off eBay, um, so not from a store or anything. Uh, I paid about £15 for him, maybe a bit more actually, can't remember. But a great figure. So, there you go guys. Thanks for watching, leave comments below, and uh, yeah, hope you'll have a great time, and go get yourself a Iron Patriot. Catch you later.